What's going on guys? Can I do this? There we go. Today I'm going to show you what we built at the junkyard within the last week or so. And started with an old Murray riding mower. I wanted something else to drive around in the field to pick up parts. Can you see me in the lighting? Maybe, I don't know. Wanted something else to pick up parts with around the yard and to check on things. Because we have a Dodge Caravan. And I use my S10. But it's not cool enough. So... Mustang stuff. This is our late 80s, early 90s model wizard riding mower with a 5 horsepower, 206 cc engine and a 25 inch cut side discharge deck that is no longer on it as you can tell because we needed all that ground clearance. This little mower, uh, a 25 inch cut, that's comparable to some 22 inch push mowers and you can ride this one and it's got the same basic five horse that a lot of newer style push mowers have um motor of course is old but you know the same small cylinder little carburetor this made onto the bottom of the gas tank type of deal no electric start but we do have a key switch to cut it on and off and uh so what we've done let's see if i can do this one-handed little thing doesn't weigh much there we go I changed our pulleys around. We went from a, uh, a six and a half inch pulley on the trans to a three inch pulley on the transmission or transax, trans, uh, what do they call it? Jack shaft thing. Cause it actually goes from a belt drive into a gear system to a chain drive uh, on the axle. <coughs> and then the mower had a two inch, we went up to a three inch. So it's three inch and three inch, like a one to one ratio type of deal. These front tires are solid rubber. They're not air tires, they're just solid rubber tires. So it rides like really bad. And I haven't fixed up a throttle yet. I'm gonna make a foot throttle out of a brake lever. But for now, down here, I'm just pinging the governor to get a top speed. So, let's see if it'll start up now that I've turned it on its back.
dusty now. And the mower, of course, was scrapped. Um, and it actually ran. We didn't have to do anything to the carburetor. I just put gas in it and it fired right up. Now the uh, the pulleys and stuff I got at a local parts store along with the belt. Came from a local parts store. But uh, everything else is furnished here. So what do you think, guys? Pretty nifty little machine, huh? Alright. Well, that'll be all for this one. It's not fun. Trust me, especially Is this for your awesome Red Ranger project? Yeah. Everybody's really intrigued with that. It's fixing to be show and tell time for oh, too much longer. You hear that guys. We're gonna have the paint comes in Monday. The bumper guard, the bumper brackets come in Monday. And it should be about time to back up here mm. all right well this little thing off there i don't understand it is such a pain in the butt yeah someone noted in the first video that the front end it could not have been a 2000 or something because the front end was wrong and so we had to clarify that yes we know that the front end was a replacement and look here's our new factory 2000 front end 2001 2001 front end yes sir so it'll have the Bumper, correct everything 2001 everything. I can turn this this way. It's and getting it's getting to be back together like it's supposed to be. Awesome. We will keep you updated on that. We're gonna put the valve covers in the, on the four six and hopefully the intake. We think stuff. we are. We think we are. And then maybe it'll run tonight. No. It's not gonna run tonight. Tomorrow. We're just Monday. in. It will not run tonight. Be honest, it's not run. We already here first. Well, dang. Yep. Okay. Gas tank in. Oh yeah. All right. Apparently, some other idiot can put a Valkyrie disc on. All righty, guys. We will catch you in the next one.